Hey, y'all say y'all. Peace and power, Santa 6. It's your girl, the Valley Lika, and welcome to the channel. To all of my returning viewers, hey, soul cousins. So glad, so happy, so thankful, so blessed to have you back. And to my new subscribers, hey, y'all. Welcome to the soul family. I'm so glad, I'm so happy, I'm so blessed, so thankful, so grateful. To have you here the likes the comments and subscribes thank you thank you a million times thank you it does mean a lot to me it really does the comments especially i really love when you guys are like vulnerable and um you share certain things and i also like how other people will comment like something that maybe has helped them with certain stuff that's why i feel like this the, like the whole community it's like a family we're really soul cousins and soul family so, you know, this isn't a situation where it's like, okay, I'm showing up to serve just to help you all. We help each other as a collective. And I just think it's so beautiful. You know, just better helping each other navigate this beautiful human experience that does not always feel so beautiful. And I'm so here for it. I'm so here for it, y'all. I really am. But anyway, let's get into this energy. You know, we got a full moon in Scorpio coming up. Sure do. <laughs> Soon as you think it's over, it ain't over. So, but let's get into this energy. So I do want to, um, I wanted to channel from my angel and ancestor oracle cards. I really have not used these in a long time. And I just feel like what better time than any than now. Then now. Let me get this moon water going. Why I'm excited, y'all. I don't even know why. <laughs> I just got this burst of excitement to do this reading. I wanted to do one yesterday, but Spirit said, uh uh. It's time for you to organize. I deep cleaned the heck. I got spring cleaning. I did a nice little spring cleaning in the house yesterday. Really excited to use my new carpet cleaner. I whipped that bad boy out. That's when you know you grown. When you get excited about, uh, carpet cleaners and stuff and like area rugs <laughs> it's like ooh, grown woman time anyway let's see what's going on divine spirit gods angels ancestors cosmic family of the brightest love light healing prosperity and protection please give me clear and accurate messages for the divine collective clear and accurate messages for the divine collective what is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that they need to hear and know the most at this time? Please just block out any interferences as I get these messages across and protect my space. Allow me to channel these messages from the highest, most authentic, loving version of myself and not from a place of ego. Any dark magic or evil eye being sent my way or to the way of the divine collective, I ask that you return it back to sender, magnified and bonded to them. Let's put a shield of protection around us, spirit. Protect my crown chakras. I get these messages across and protect and open up my third eye chakra so that I can dive deeper into my intuition to give further clarification of the cards that come out today. Thank you so much, spirit. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Mm -mm, I'm not taking two things like that. What does the collective need to hear and know the most at this time, spirit? What is it that the divine collective needs to hear and know the most at this time?
the first one we have is medicine mother honor your inner knowing Give me more spirit. Eagle. See from a higher perspective. Okay, this next one that just came out was Peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. I'm getting this feeling like, you know, Spirit is telling you to take the high road. Like, yeah, you know you're right. You know you're right. You know you're right. You know this person is dead wrong. But it's almost that, like, that, 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 the energy of, like, you don't have to bring yourself down to somebody's energy to get them to understand. I really got to a place in my life, y'all, where I just, I, I don't know if I'm right or wrong about this. I don't know if this is, like, an ego thing or what. I don't really know what. But I, I, like, I tend to categorize people. I understand there are surface level people and then there are some people who are a little deeper. There are some people I just can't go there with them. You know, you got certain people it's like what's understood doesn't need to be explained. Like you know, you know you just got certain things where it's just like you should know better. Everybody ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? And like sometimes when you just have a certain logic, you expect other people to be like or when, when, when other people can't meet you mentally and you're trying to make them, you can't bring nobody up to meet you where you at. I don't know. If that's that's just kind of the energy I'm getting. I may be for somebody specific. But it's like honor your inner knowing, see from a higher perspective, and let go of the need to be right. That's just the energy that I got. Like, you know, somebody's, somebody's probably dead wrong. You're really right about something. But Spirit is saying, don't give it. You don't need to prove to this person that you're right. Let it be what it is. You know? Well, we want to see what this is. Give me one more spirit. Direction, direction, guardian. Choose your path. I'm not familiar with this card. Choose your path. It's like a compass and all these different bird, like animals and stuff on here. So let's get into the um, the textbook de the definition of this. Give me some time to figure it out, y'all, because y'all know I gotta. <laughs> I gotta break it down. I'm gonna have to break it down. I'm definitely gonna have to break it down. Let's see here. Medicine mother. Okay, so it says, Medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. Take action. Do what you know you need to do. Mother always knows best, they say. And it's true. We all know a maternal figure, a maternal figure who's extremely intuitive and insightful. And the medicine mother has gone through many ups and downs. She has lived, she has lost. She knows, she knows what it's like to suffer and want to give up. So the, medis so the medicine of this card is that it's okay to make mistakes and get it wrong sometimes. And it's okay for things to come to an end. It's not the end of the world. It's just the end of one chapter and the beginning of something new. The medicine mother reminds you that even through 
excuse me, the medicine, medicine mother reminds you that even though you will have low lows, you aren't here to suffer. You're here to be supported and to support others. Let her give you the loving encouragement to take the next step forward. Extended message. It says, there is an old pattern rising up in you now. And it's time to deal with it and release it for good. You're being encouraged to love and respect yourself enough to take the steps you know you need to take to move closer to where you'd like to be. You already know the answers. You know what you need to do. You may have been using delaying tactics or holding back, but now you're being guided to take action. Action requires courage, but your, an but your angels and guides are bringing you the courage to move forward. Take just one step. When you do, the next one will be will be presented to you. Oh wow. Oh wow. Somebody is definitely stepping into a new chapter. This choose your path card is what this is. It's almost like, you know, because Spirit is saying like an old pattern is rising up in you now or something like that. And it makes sense because we're in retrograde. Like, you know, retrograde can be a lot of, you know, old people popping up, but also old lessons that, uh, you know, that maybe we haven't, um, that we, we, we haven't addressed or, um, haven't fully comprehended maybe. But this choose your path, it's just like, um, see from a higher perspective, let go of the need to be right, choose your path. The universe is really just trying to steer you forward. Ultimately, it's almost like it's giving me the, it's almost like the, this, 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 this reading looks like it's presenting you a question. What path will you take? Are you looking to move forward? Are you looking to elevate to a higher perspective? Are you looking to stay where you're at? You know, if I could take myself back in to this energy, when I was like in this energy in my journey, um, when I was when I was at this part of my timeline, okay, was like I knew it was time to go up, right? You know, like, that's why it says honor your inner knowing. You know deep down. It's like once you get that, that inkling, like, you know, I am, I have a greater purpose. I have a greater purpose. I have, you know, and for me, it was like, I'm a star seed. I'm an earth angel. I'm supposed to be doing so. I'm supposed to serve. Like, there is something I'm supposed to do. I'm like, I just felt like. It was almost like my spirit was pushing my ego out the way and like, no, give us, give us, get, let me get the driver's seat to some stuff. Because the way I started just changing, not, not even going to say changing, it started with me not having the same desires. I just kept getting this, um, this, um, I was, I got this, like this, this intuitive nudge is what I, what I'm looking for. That was what I was looking for intuitive nudge to like you know what it's time to change your diet we're cutting out dairy out there we're cutting dairy out of our diet um i cut yes yeah, so i cut all dairy out of my diet and then something told me to stop you know i have to stop smoking weed so i cut that out just cold turkey y'all i just cut it out i was never really a big smoker anyway i only smoked to go to sleep but um i just i just felt like my vessel needed to be clean for something like I felt like I needed to get some messages and I needed to not have anything fogging my my mind, my my you know, my vessel. I just needed to have my vessel clean to receive what I need to receive and I also stopped having sex. So, um I just felt like I didn't want I just didn't want anybody sexually transmitted demons. <laughs> like I didn't I didn't want anything to mess with my energy field and yeah, that's just kind of where I was at with it. But the problem that I had, okay, 
in this part of the journey was I knew it was time for me to evolve. It was time for me to ascend. But my problem is that I wanted to take the people around me with me. And um, the unfortunate part about that is like, you know, you can want to take people with you. But the reality is sometimes y'all, you know, we're in we're stuck in certain stagnant places or we just can't seem to evolve from one place to the next. And it has everything to do with because we have people in our energy that we were not intended to evolve with or ascend with or to reach that next level with. They were fit for the the frequency you were vibrating for however long that will what at, at or at whatever time that was and then once you you know you evolve out of that it's just like you have to you have to let certain people go and that can be a little bit difficult. You know, even even just the, the whole going through spiritual awakenings period is hard. It's literally like the spiritual warfare, you know, I, you always want to be mindful of like, you know, other dark spirits, energies and shit like that. But for me, the spiritual warfare was internal. It was literally my ego battling my higher self. That's how I felt. That's how I felt. You know? So it could definitely be challenging, but it's just giving me this energy. It's giving me very much so. It's like, almost like you're being, you're being given a path. Like you're, 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 it's almost like a question. Which path are you taking in this situation? Are you going to see from a higher perspective? And when I say higher perspective, I'm looking at this more figuratively than I am like literally but, you know, are you ready to detach from your, are you ready to go through that, through that ego death and, you know, operate from the highest version of yourself? Or are you not ready? You know? So it says eagle. See from a higher perspective. Look at things from a different angle. Fly higher and see new possibilities. In animal medicine, both Native American and Celtic, the, eagles draw, the eagle draws his power and strength from the sun. He is a powerful, strong, and courageous guide who is able to see for males. Okay was able to see for miles he approaches all things with intelligence grace and poise and has the capacity to make a plan from a higher space before putting it into action when the eagle heart appears in a reading it shows that you have a real ability to take things higher and to move beyond the limitations of your ego and your selfish desires i'm just saying i had no idea what this was about to say but i, I swear to goodness i had to add, like it's, it, it's, it's a question here. What are you, what, what, are you ready to go to this next level? You know, we, you know, we all experience, experience different. See, the next level is scary for people because it's the unknown. If you already have something going and it's like this is what you know it's your regular program it's your regular schedule it's your regular routine the idea of okay all this stops and then so i have to cut all this off and then what it's just like a natural human nature that we just want to know like what's next but what's next what's next we want to want to know what's coming everybody wants to be prepared you know walking into the unknown is very scary it can be very scary. Um, but it's like, it's perspective. I'm telling you, it's perspective. Because if your perspective is, you know, things maybe may not be working out. It doesn't seem like, it seems like I'm hitting a brick wall. It's like I'm not able to go. It's like I'm doing okay. But it's like something is, something else is missing. And y'all, this is why I say like sometimes where it's like, well, they'll say like, you know, there are certain people who they can be millionaires. They can have all kinds of money and really be financially well off and they're genuinely not happy. And it's because 
the financial stability and the success wasn't necessarily what was going to bring them the happiness or that dream man that they always wanted this i'm just using examples you know that you know the 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 the, the glitz the glam didn't actually bring them the fulfillment they wanted the 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 dream relationship my dream husband my dream wife didn't bring them the fulfillment that they wanted and a lot of times people are not feeling fulfilled because it's something that your soul is crying out for you to do but you're maybe letting your ego take the driver's seat of your life and ultimately it leads to just not really fully feeling fulfilled you know we got missions we got we got we got certain things we were we we agreed to agreed upon doing before we got here and our our, our job is really to figure out what that is what is my purpose here you know hmm but anyway Extended message. It says, Eagle Medicine swirls around you, encouraging you to recognize that your views or vision may be limited at this time. Is there a chance that your own desperation, needs, or ego could be blocking you from seeing the potential in your current situation? If there are other people involved, you are being guided to see things from everyone's perspective. If you are feeling the need for something... Uh... For somebody specific, this could be a situation where it's like, okay, boom, you're going through this change. And like I said, because like, it, th yeah, that's the reason why I brought my, brought myself up. You may be somebody who is like, you wanted to take people with you. Like you want to take people with you. Like we got to do this inner work. We got to heal. We got to do inner child healing. Like it's, it's so, it's, it's so hard to not like find out like different things that can really change your life in such a beautiful way and not want to share it to the people you love and that are closest to you um you know so for the let the let go of the need to be right might be the next car you may be dead right to talking to somebody like bro you need to start doing some shadow work you need to start doing this you need to start whatever whatever but unfortunately we can't make nobody do shit it's not our job to the most we can do is a lead by example but anyway, it says that, is there a chance that your own desperation, needs, or ego could be blocking you from seeing the potential in your current situation? If there are other people involved, you're being guided to see things from everyone's perspective. If you're feeling the need for something to change, how can you take the higher road? Damn, how can you take the higher road? Then the next card is let go of the need to be right. Somebody knows they have to cut certain certain people out of their energy. This honor, you know, honor honor your inner knowing. Somebody knows. That it's time to ascend. They know it's time to evolve. They know, they probably even know that they can't really necessarily take certain things with them. Rather, this be people or a characteristic or a, a friendship a something know that if know that if you if you if you excuse me know that if you have intentions that aren't for the highest good it will only hold you back eagle medicine can help you change this the eagle brings the energy of healing and love directly from the heart of father sky and invites you to do all things from a place of love mm. i just heard release them with love release it with love
So we have peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. Dang, how can I make the glare stop? Let go of the need to be right. It says, choose peace and happiness over the need to be right, rather than trying to prove a point. Save your energy for what's important. The peacekeeper is a wise Native American woman who has been influenced by a white buffalo woman. She holds a she holds a peace pipe, which is emblematic of surrendering the need to fight and offering harmony instead. Surrendering the need to fight and offering harmony instead. It says she is a soul who knows what it's what it's like to feel under threat and to stand up for what she believes in and what is right. Her medicine helps you to take the higher road in every situation, even if you're under pressure to make a quick decision. It is a reminder that within your hands lies the power to make the right choice for all involved. Extended message. It says you may be feeling on edge due to a stressful situation. There's a warrior you okay, there's a warrior within you that wants to rise up, prove your point, and get the truth across. But you're being reminded by ancestor wisdom that truth will always be revealed in the end. It's more important at this time to avoid arguments or heated discussions where you where you know you'll be fighting a losing battle. There is a much more for some for somebody I just heard. What's the point in even fighting and arguing with a person that you know don't take accountability? And you know, just because so many like so many of what I was, it's, I don't know if like there's like this narcissistic personality disorder shit is like at an all time high or what, but I've noticed with a lot of the collective they have had these you know romantic encounters with like narcissistic people. So I think that's where that's coming from. I don't know why that 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 download just came to me, but it's like fight with them for what when you know they don't take accountability anyway. They're not going to. And it could just be one of those things where it's like, you know, no, I need you to just understand where I'm coming from. Like you want somebody to understand where you're coming from so bad. And the reality of the situation is they do, they just don't give a fuck. Especially if you're dealing with a narcissist, they lack empathy. You know, if you're dealing with somebody who's narcissistic in any type of way, like, they lack empathy. They can understand where you're coming from, but quite frankly, the, 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 what am I looking for? Like a narcissistic's, a narcissist's favorite dish is like mental manipulation confusion that's what they thrive off of like that's how they keep that's typically how they keep most of their connections based off of like mental manipulation so it's like i can't tell you that you're right i i i wouldn't that fucks my game up the game is you have to i have to think you have to think that you're wrong so you could be in a situation where you know somebody's dead ass wrong you know somebody's dead ass wrong and you you just trying to under you just trying to understand why the fuck they don't why why they don't think why it is that they don't see that they're wrong spirit said this is a never losing battle let it go it says it's more important at this time to avoid arguments and heated discussions where you know you'll be fighting a losing battle there is much more power in choosing to move forward from a higher perspective oh my god this is what i'm reading to move forward from a higher perspective. What is this card? The card before that is what? Eagle. See? See from a higher perspective. <laughs> when Spirit got a message, they got a message. See from a higher perspective. Or lower your vibration to keep trying to meet somebody where they're at and get them to understand you or whatever the hell it may be. Or to admit that they're wrong, to admit fault, to admit sorry. You know, for a lot of people, a lot of a lot of you all who are struggling with closure because you want an apology. It's hard. I mean, it's really, it, it's really, it can be really hard. But for some people, the closure is 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 the fact that you aren't gonna ever get an apology from this person. Because that's the type of person that they are. That's who they are. 
my narcissistic ex my narcissistic ex when he finally reached broke the silence well he he broke the silence multiple times i just kept ignoring him but um he when he finally got to speak on how he felt the closest he came to an apology was this is not what i wanted that's as close as he came to an apology but it really didn't matter if he apologized or not because I had already come to peace that I wasn't going to receive it in any way. Like that I wouldn't get an apology in the first place. I just, I was able to find closure in finding a lesson. Like I feel like, I don't know why that has helped. It's just helped me so much. I feel like everybody you meet is like your guru or your is somebody you can learn or take something from. I don't care how even, they could be the most low vibrational of person. You know, but you can take certain things from people. And I ultimately took, I had to learn. There's a great deal I learned here. And I, that's what this was for. I was supposed to, this is for learning. I was supposed to learn and grow from this experience. And that's precisely what I'm going to do. So honestly, you don't have to apologize for anything you did. I think you, I genuinely feel like you showed up and you treated me exactly the way you were supposed to treat me. That's just my personal opinion, you know, for my situation. But mm, it says there is much more power in choosing to move forward from a higher perspective. This will allow you to connect deeply to the guidance within. Yeah, to, to the to the guidance within the your inner knowing, your inner knowing. Honoring your inner knowing, because right, the reality of the situation is this may be a reading that might even work, that might necessarily be worth your time. I ain't doing nothing but telling you what you already know. You know this. I don't know the specifics of your situation, but there, if there's something you you straddling the fence between, I know I need to do this, but that, but you know, you already know what this is, what this is applying to. Or whoever's in your energy that this is applying to. I don't know. It says this is this is a much more this is much more in choosing to move forward. For, excuse me. This is there is much more power in choosing to move forward from a higher perspective. This will allow you to connect deeply to the guidance within and the intuition that will lead you towards the healing of the whole situation along with any wounds it may have inflicted on you choose your peace you know it's calling you for somebody specifically it's like somebody just wants somebody to know how much they wrong them And I feel like, I almost feel like, you know, um, whoever this is, that's like, you know, they feel like they got to point the proof or whatever it may be. It's actually this, this, this being stuck on, what is this? I don't know if it's like a person, a workplace, a family member, a what? But this is very much so a situation where spirit is like saying you have to find peace without the apology. <sighs> and that can be like so sad. Like it really can. You know, um, it was challenging for me in the beginning. But I think I held on to the situation so long that I was already mentally checked out the last time I finally got to the point where I'm like, I just can't. <laughs> I just can't, bro. Like, there's no way I can try to go, like... 
the energy is very much so y'all very heavy you're not gonna evolve trying to take some there is something whatever doorway you need to fit through that leads you to your ascension your evolution your evolving to next level the doorway is big enough for you and not everybody else you're trying to take with you it's like you can't have one with the other and for some of you it's not external some for some of you it's internal there may be something you're carrying on your energy that's just too heavy, too big, taking up way too much damn space to get through to wherever this next level is. And like, you know, if you're a person who, you know, maybe struggled with what I struggle with, which is, is like, you know, I know I have to do this. I know I'm evolving. I know I need to, you know, my spirit is calling for me to do this, that and the third but I love this person or I love these people or I love, you know what I'm saying? And I really want them to be on this journey with me. It's also not right. You can never really push anybody into their healing. You can trigger it. You could definitely trigger it. You could definitely trigger it. But you can't. I mean, I'm talking about, I used to break it down to where, like, the let go of the need to be right. This used to be me. <laughs> like, he just don't understand how he's standing in his own way. I see it so clear. Why doesn't he see it? All you need to do is, and you need this, I, I can see your, your inner child is just crying for help and dead and that. We're all on different timelines. For some people, they may not even awaken in this lifetime. They might have to reincarnate and do the shit all over again. You know? So the most we can do is lead by example. One thing, you know, one thing. And it's so funny how this says let go the need to be right. Because one thing my ex used to always say is like, you think you know everything. You think you're right about everything. I don't. I just know a lot about what I choose to talk about. I don't know. I don't speak on shit I don't know about. If I don't know about it, I will gladly say, I, well, I ain't 100% sure, but don't take my word for it. But, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't tend to speak on things I don't know about. But the shit I know about, I have a lot to say about it. <laughs> so it can come off like I, I'm a know-it-all. I just know a lot about what the fuck I choose to talk about. <laughs> um... Yeah, but the energy is very much so like choosing a new path. Choosing a new path. Direction guardian, choose your path. Connect with your deepest desires. Connect with your with your deepest desires then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing it says the direction guardian card represents the angels of direction these amazing angels are the ones who come to us when we are at a crossroads and don't know which way to go when we are unsure of what uh of what is right for us or the bigger picture they can help us know what is best for all involved the direction guardian refers to the vision of the Hebrew prophet Ezekiel, who is said to have seen an angel with four different faces. One was a child, Cherub, and one was a bull, one was a lion, and one was an eagle. We got eagle twice here, eagle energy twice here. Yeah, it's almost like the spirit gave that one away as the direction they want you to take. The direction they want you to take is the higher is the is is the higher one. Not from a place of ego. It says these four faces show show that angels can appear in many guises and in many guises and guide us in many different directions but always for our highest good. 
It says your path isn't set in stone and your angels and gods have no explanation for you. Excuse me, have no expectation for you, nor should you have any for yourself. There are many directions you can take. None of them are wrong as they all hold perfect opportunities to grow and to learn. But life is to be enjoyed and savored. So if you know that there's a direction to be made and particularly if you feel if you're feeling indecisive choose the path you know is going to make you light up and choose with your heart see i i i do i like i agree i agree with this a lot and then there's a part where it's like eh, i don't know because the the reality is yeah any so choosing any path is they're saying choosing any path wouldn't be the wrong path because you can even choose a path that's with the wrong person and learn a great deal but my 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 fear is um no i don't have fear fear don't live here i don't like that word um my concern is once the lesson is learned you cannot grow any more in that situation like once I, I you, you know i genuinely feel like once you hit a certain place and uh this could be like a work environment that's why whether it's a work environment a friendship a uh relationship once you learn all you can learn from that person like the the lesson because i do believe there are certain lessons and things tied to you know certain people once you learn those lessons some people that's all they came for that they're the season this the, their 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 purpose in your life is for a season to teach you a certain lesson and once the lesson is is learned or for some of us we learn a lesson we just don't apply the damn lesson so you know it's like you're not going to go any further until you just remove yourself from it Remove yourself from the energy. Raise your vibration. Raise your raise your standards in 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 raise your standards in 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 your environments or the things that you frequent and your thoughts and your workplace and your choice of friends and your choice of romantic partners. Raise the bar because whatever bar you were at, that that the the, the level is beat. You didn't beat it a million times. What else is there to do? Go to the next level. Hmm. Where do we go from here, spirit? Where do we go from here? Okay. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm gonna do. Divine spirit guides, angels, ancestors, cosmic family of the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity, and protection. Please give me clear and accurate messages for the divine collective. Clear and accurate messages for the divine collective. What is it that you want to add to this reading, um, spirit? What more do they need to know? When it comes to them making this decision as to what path they're going to choose. Raising their vibration. Yeah, this is like, I felt the energy. The energy is very much so, you got a choice. You know, Spirit is saying old patterns are creeping up. And it's like, this is almost like a reading of like, okay, what are you trying to do? You're trying to evolve. You're trying to stay where you've always been. You ready to go up to this next level or not? Is your bags packed? Or do you even have your bags packed? <laughs> Are your bags even fucking packed? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Have you even cleared your work schedule? Like, what is going on? Do you want to do this or not? Or no? Because I'm telling you, y'all, for some of us, I think. I feel like we get faced with decisions, man. This is universe, university. Like, 
we get faced with decisions and them decisions can lead to like to really certain times it's like you know where there's certain times where it's like okay you can make a wrong decision and maybe you can like write it right after like you know or you know you have an opportunity to 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 change whatever but certain things it's like some of these decisions are they're forfeit i mean they're forfeiting people's abundance and all types of stuff i'm not saying that's your situation but i've seen it somebody make the wrong decision somebody choose the wrong path and then get themselves in a contract that now they got to get out of this is i'm just sad man i've seen it i have seen it i have seen people unknowingly sign contracts And start new cycles. That's why I like for it. Like, sometimes it's easy for me to leave certain people alone. Like I can tell, okay, you're about to be in a very long karmic cycle. But see, here's the thing. I'm not going to force myself. I'm not going to force anything on anybody. But I will tell you about yourself. Period. Point blank. If I love you, it's not my job to be your yes man or your yes girl. I'm going to tell you about yourself. And a lot of times I see it before I see it before people even do it. People make these decisions and it's like, all right. Hope you prepare what's for what's gonna come with that. Like, so we have freedom. Aw. It says, I realize my wounds create doubt, resentment, and guilt. So I work to free myself of darkness. I cast off negative thoughts, find peace in my heart, and discover the being of light within me. It's almost like there's a path. There's a choice. Whatever, whatever this path is, when it this choose your path, whatever path you decide to, to decide to take, there is a path that is definitely very much so linked to your freedom. I just heard freedom from bondage, but it's mental. Okay. Hold on now. I like one away. Goodness. Green. Heart chakra. It says, I refine my character and overcome difficulties by remaining positive. I calm my heart and illuminate my intellect to transform shadow into light. I consciously manifest goodness in and around me i improve my qualities for the benefit of all spirit just said you don't realize you you for some for somebody who it's like you have to you feel like your path is going to lead you to have to leave certain people behind spirit said who says that you're not helping them by doing that who says you're not helping them by leaving them behind I'm just saying, especially when you're like somebody who is like, you know, you know, you're going through this spiritual awakening, this spiritual evolution, whatever it may be. And no, no. First of all, like, you know, the, the spiritual path is the less is the past le less travel. Everybody ain't suited for it. Ain't, everybody ain't, ain't, ain't necessarily fit for it. Some people would do better. Like when they say like ignorance is bliss is real, y'all. <laughs> like when you're ignorant of certain things because quite frankly the more knowledge you acquire and this is how i even like how i have to hold myself accountable and this is what i used to tell my ex all the time because like one thing i'll say about i can't speak for all narcissists but he is very intelligent and i'm like you but my thing is like okay he was very intelligent and i would tell him i'm like what i think you don't understand is like we are not like everybody you know it you know there's this okay we can say they, they say we're all created equal i kind of got a discrepancy on that that's just my personal opinion but um you know i feel like there are certain things that one person can do that won't get them karma 
And another person can do the same exact thing that will get them karma. And I say the reason why I say that is this. When you have a certain type of knowledge, when you're chosen, when you're a star seed or earth angel or something, you have a greater calling, which means you are held to a higher standard. And you have a greater responsibility. So like there'll be times where like, like sometimes, you know, I'll know people and it's, it'd be like, well, I didn't see people do shit like this all the time. I don't nothing ever, but you're aware, you're well aware as above, so below you're aware of all this. So let's not, let's not try to, it's like people try to play, you know, when people like try to play dumb when it's convenient, no, not at all, not at all. Spirit is saying you're doing somebody a favor by leaving them behind. You are. Because you know people don't want to believe you when you're trying to tell them when you're trying to tell them what it is and then they start to see them like, okay, I tried. I did tell you though, right? I did tell you. Remember that, right? Focus on yourself. And you start getting that abundance flowing to you. And everything else. Because you put... You listen to your soul. You listen to your spirit. You get rewarded for that. When you push your ego out the way. And you let your spirit lead. Baby. Yeah, abundance comes. So some of those things where it always looked like I knew what I was talking about, everything came to fruition exactly how I said it would. Only difference is I didn't I didn't know that uh, certain people were going to have to go for me to get there. I did not realize that. That part I didn't know. Um, the next one, it says, in God's hands, my trust in life is implicit. God's creek. God's greater knowing and greatest love guides my heart and my choices. My faith is steady and I remain true to my light. Everything unfolds according to God's will. Somebody can be praying a lot. Like Spirit said, just take one step. Take one step in the direction you need to take. They'll give you and, and they'll, they'll show you the next steps you need to take. But take that leap of faith on you, with yourself. For some of you, this is leaving something, leaving a workplace, relationship, a mindset that's just maybe a mindset where it's 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 it's, it's coming from a place of like scarcity or fear. It's being left behind. For a lot of you, it is something. It is it's a way of thinking. It says positive thinking. My life is full of small patches of light. I direct my thoughts to that which bring me well-being. I place what is weight what is weighty for me into the hands of the universe. Little by little, the light awakens in my being and I find serenity. Y'all, I promise you, I get on here and I'm like, I'm gonna just do a quick little head pair. <laughs> cute, right? Real cute. Real cute. So I'm gonna um, switch up the pace. I'm gonna do um, the Rebel deck. The Oracle with the attitude to let y'all go. Oracle with the attitude to let you go. Very much so unsugarcoated advice. All right, Spirit. Some advice to close out the reading. Advice to close out the reading. What do you want the this um, the Divine Collective to hear the most? What is it that the <laughs> Divine collectives, higher self, want them to hear and know the most at this time. Spirit said, not this deck. I feel like once I said higher self, spirit said, no, not that deck. So, okay. I'm going to listen. We'll do messages from the universe instead. Spirit guys, angels, ancestors, gods, and family of the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity, and protection. Some advice to close out the reading for the divine collective. What advice do you want to give 
to the divine collective to close out this reading what is it that the divine collective's higher self wants them to hear and know the most to close out this reading It says, if you didn't get something you really wanted at this time, if you feel stuck or feel like things are not going according to your plans, know that something bigger and better is coming. It's something filled with divine magic that couldn't come into your life if you were to receive what you were asking for now. It says, you are safe. You are protected. The worst is behind you. And you are ready to move beyond the challenges that were set for you. Lessons have, have been learned and it is safe for you to trust your path. It says, don't be afraid to say I love you or thank you to those who deserve to hear it. Don't be scared of embarrassing yourself or appearing soppy. You will never regret a heartfelt I love you or a message of appreciation. You will only ever regret not saying it. Then I say something like uh, release them with love. Some release something with love. Cause I'm gonna be honest, like you know when it when it comes to you, like you know, going through maybe some type of ascension, and that don't mean everybody else gonna ascend too. So what happens is that it's not that you know people those the people that you know you've been around are not good people for you anymore you've just vibrated out of their out of their field of, of of frequency like you've vibrated like see the what brings connection is a similar vibration that's what brings it together you know that's what makes it that you can coexist like that is that you're vibrating at a similar frequency well, if I decide I'm going to, and this is honestly what it, it happened for me. I lost a lot of, I lost friends, relationships, you know, I don't want to operate from fear. I don't want to operate from trauma or pain anymore. Cause a lot of those, you know, a lot of them were people that definitely knew my story, were there with me during my story. And sometimes that can make it really difficult to want to even distance yourself from the people because it's like, well, they've been there for me for so for so many of my situations. But sometimes we got to ask ourselves the question, too, have they been there for you or have they just been around? Because <laughs> there's a difference. <laughs> there is a major freaking difference. I remember um, a relationship I had like back back or whatever. And, you know, I'm like, it's just like I remember saying to him, I'm like everything it's like my luck is so bad around you and he was like but everything that goes wrong in your life he said i just can't believe you want to leave me when everything you go through i'm right there for i'm right beside you and i'm like as a matter of fact motherfucker, you are always right beside me this is <laughs> something something ain't right about that as a matter of fact and then when I had to think to myself, I'm like, I almost felt bad when he said it. But then I thought, I'm like, you're there. You're not there for me. You're not doing anything to make make it better. You're not, like, you understand? Like, what do you mean? Sometimes you got to take the time to realize that too, collective. Have people, have these people even been, have people been there for you or have they just been around? Because being around or listening to you talk and be like, damn, that's crazy. That's so crazy, girl. Shit. Mm, can't believe it. That's not there for me neither. Anyway. Oh, wow. Look at this. Last card. This is the last card of spread because I've been, you know, I, I, I do my fours, my fours and fours. So the very last card for the universe is what? Choice is the most powerful tool you have. 
Every choice you make shuts some doors, but also opens several doors, bringing new experiences into your life at any given time. You can change the direction of your life. You are only one choice away. Direction Guardian, choose your path. Y'all have a decision. I said it, I felt the question. You have a decision. You have a decision to make. But you already know what you need to do. And even if you're not 100% sure, like the whole grand scheme of things, and that may be why some people are like, some of you are just stuck, just want to stay in the same place. Because it's like, well, I mean, I do know I need to make a change, but how? Make, Spirit said, make one step. Just take one. We'll give you the rest. We'll show you the rest. <laughs> Baby. I'm getting emotional just thinking about it because I remember this part. Nothing was making sense anymore. I thought I was with my twin. I'm like, this shit hurt. Way too bad. Ain't no way. Like, what is going on? <laughs> like, nothing was working. It's like nothing I was putting my energy into trying to make work was working. Like, why? What is this? When you're in it, it just feels like your life is falling apart. Nothing is fucking working. Jobs is getting funny. Like, relationships, friendship, family members. It just will seem like a collective of shit happening at the same time. And you're like, whoa, can I get up? Before you can even get up at for the... From the first blood, you get knocked right back. You be like, God damn, <laughs> let me fucking catch my breath, please. <laughs> and what the reality of the situation is, that's the tower moment. That's the tower moment that normally happens before the elevation. See, it's like, it's almost like the, the universe gives us what we want, just not how we want it. See, a lot of us think, I'm going to take this foundation I got right here, and I'm going to just build on to it. And the universe be like, no, start over. It's something way better. The foundation is not the foundation I want. I actually want you to have something a little different. And, you know, this is more, I can't even say if this is an internal or external type of thing, but it's very much so. The universe just works in mysterious ways. That's all I got to say. You know, but a lot of times we think like, you know, these blessings are going to come. These, these beautiful, great, great things are going to come in the midst of everything. Like, you know, you have everything going on right now and you think the universe is just going to add, add some little developments. Let's, 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 let's add an extra room here. Let it, no. We're going to demo this bitch. And we going to build something way better. <laughs> yeah <laughs> pretty much pretty much so you have a choice collective which one are you going to make but on a soul level you know which one that you're supposed to make you know what you need to do and I'm rooting for you I'm rooting for you I'm so excited for your new for your next chapter and your choice and the abundance and the blessings that are going to come with the beautiful choice that you're going to make for yourself. Get in tune with your spirit. Get in tune with your, you know, your heart space. Get in tune with your heart space. Do some grounding because we got a lot of red and orange energy here. And get you in some nice weather. Walk barefoot. And you know what? Don't be afraid to act. Have open dialect with your spirit guides and your ancestors. Now, this is me. I'm very, I'm very mindful of my words and what I ask for <laughs> and who I'm asking it from. On my channel, as you notice, I always use divine, divine ancestors of. Can I ask 
spirit guides, angels, ancestors, cousins, family. Oh, the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity, and protection. I'm very specific about the ancestors that I'm calling on just because I'm a firm believer that all of our ancestors were not good people. So I do not want to, I want to be very mindful of the energies that I'm calling on to assist me. But there is nothing wrong with having that open dialect with them and saying, I'm asking for you to intervene. I'm asking for you to intervene. I am ready to surrender and go to the next level. I'm asking for you to intervene. And whatever comes to you first, more than likely, that's a decision you need to make. But this has been your message collective. I really hope that it resonated. If so, please like, comment, and subscribe. It is just a beautiful way to energetically donate back to the channel. But until next time, I love you all so much. Peace.